Hello guys, just a short one here showing you how to set up these custom wing views that I have on the A320 Neo. Uh, for all aircraft it is the same, um, however there are two different ways to do it, so we'll have a look now. If you are doing the A320 and you have the A32NX mod, you click in the A32NX folder, you go Sim Objects, Airplanes, A320 Neo, find your cameras file here, load this up, and where it says I point, simply replace the two. Uh, simply, it'll be a four for you. Apologies. Simply replace the four with a two. Once you've done that, click save. Once that's saved, um, what you want to then do is close your simulator and reload. So I'll just meet you back here. So, once you've reloaded your simulator, you should be here in the back of the plane. Um, now, what you want to do is just spin round to wherever you want your first view to be. So if we have a look behind us, this plane doesn't really have a copper cabin. It has two windows that look real. So if we go to the first one, go slowly over to the first one. It's actually very slow, this camera movement. Get inside here. There we go. And then all you want to do is click your save button which is probably shift alt 5 or uh, just check in the settings you can check by clicking um, escape controls uh, go to your keyboard thing settings and find the camera and it'll show you that there once you've found that just click whatever your save button is plus a number and I'll save that as a camera view now back out, move, move along to the rest of the cabin. So what I'm doing is going back to the next window here, and when we get to this window, I'm going to do the exact same process, just with a different number. Do the save. Once you've saved it, um, move out. Say you want a camera position this side. I have one up a bit here. Simply save that there. Once that's saved, I have a nose wheel steering view camera one. So you just shoot down to the front. So uh, you, the reason yeah, you can move fast is if you go to your cameras, you can change free look movement speed and you move a bit faster. Now we have a look here, I just again do the same process. And now when we cycle through the views, um, we all have our different view modes. So if we just have a look at that now. So I've maneuvered myself back in the cockpit just to demonstrate if they were in a normal flight. So if I just click the load custom camera view, which is the button you can find again in your settings, we've got one, we've got two, this side, we've got three in this cockpit, and then if you wanted to, I added a tail view, and then we've got that camera view we saved. All of them set up. And they just zip back to the cockpit where your last position was. And it's that simple, guys. So make sure you do that. Uh, please hit a like and subscribe. It's really that simple. What make sure though, just once you've done that, you change the eye point view back to what it originally was and restart your simulator. Once you've done that, you'll be able to have these nice custom camera views, which really, when you're flying along, make it look really nice. Thanks, guys.